Okay. So, this is the first time I'm doing a narration. Uh, this is War Thunder Arcade Battles uh, Air Domination. Um, this is what I consider an interesting match. Um, it was the highest scoring match I've ever had. Um, it's certainly not a, uh, on the same level as the Long Shots or the Mighty Jingles or um, some of the other guys. Um, but anyways, I'm primarily flying uh, Yaks. I believe this is a Yak 3. And I'm climbing. This is a good climbing plane. I'm climbing up high. Um, I'm trying to stay somewhat near the, uh, the capture point. And I'm looking around. I'm trying to stay uh, situationally aware. Um, I love this uh, Yak-3. It's very powerful. Um, as you can see, I'm climbing up pretty good and I'm barely losing any speed. I'm looking here, trying to think on if this guy is worth attacking. And I turn because I see, there you go, this guy right here. He's stalking me. And I don't know how to prep for him. I know he's coming. Uh, my first uh, indication, I guess uh, my first thought was to climb. Um, that did not work. And that turn didn't actually slow me down any. But uh, what I should have did was I should have dove. And did a scissors. That did not help. And I uh, know he had, he hit me with uh, his panos. And instead of slowing down because I knew that he was waiting for me to, I didn't slow down. Which made the flames burn all the quicker. And I got killed. Um, me and this guy, this guy and I, we're going to be going at it throughout the whole match. Um, in fact, I killed him three times. He killed me twice. So he killed me that time, and he kills me a uh, spoiler alert, you know, at the end of the, the video. So I happen to spawn in, and he's right there. Um, a kill is a kill. I don't consider anything cheap. He probably would have done the same thing. So I spawn in the Yak 9K and split his plane in half. The Yak 9K, if you're not aware, has a, I believe, a 45 uh, millimeter uh, cannon in the nose. Um, it's very powerful, but it makes the plane very slow. Uh, it's very, man uh, it's not as maneuverable as, as other Yaks. Um, it, it's not something that you're going to be outrunning people with either. But um, the, the cannon is see me spraying here I should not be doing that um, and I think what's making it worse is the guy that's shooting over my shoulder and over my head uh, I sparked there and that 45 millimeter, millimeter round hit him and it still sparked which kind of got on my nerves and check out this move And you notice I pinged him a bit. That wasn't intentional. But he basically stole the kill. So, I've got one kill so far. And I'm, I'm hoping that this mic is working pretty decently. Um, I had to turn off a, a server of mine because it the mic was picking up so much in noise that it sounded like I was in a in a corporate server room. So I turned it off. And here you can see me kind of positioning myself. I'm trying to figure out who to attack. There was a couple of planes that were almost under me. Um, they died quickly. 
So I'm now I'm trying to reassess, okay, what to do, and an another one gets killed. And you see me pull up a little bit, trying to figure out where to go. I eyed that guy and I changed my mind. I went for him. I don't know if I stuck with him. I'm going, I'm going, and I think I'm going to nail him. As soon as, there you go. I settle down, and now I find myself in the middle of the pack. In the middle of the fur ball, and I kind of changed my mind, and I cut, <laughs> cut through that bullet uh, spray there. Luckily, I didn't get pinged. So now I'm kind of juking a little bit, because I don't know who's behind me. Unless I was dots in the radar that were behind me, so, uh, no one's behind me now, and this plane, this plane isn't the best climber, so, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have went down so low, so I'm climbing back up, I want to be at least a thousand feet up, a thousand meters, um, So I'm going to come over here because I see another plane. There's there's actually two of them there. One's not showing on the, on the screen yet. You'll see them in a second. I think it's a BF-109. So I'm trying to figure out where this guy's going to go when he's avoiding this guy so I can kind of get the kill. And I'm looking over here because there's another guy. There he is. So, there's a two fur here. Two enemies and two, well now there's one of me and two of them. So I'm finding myself in a turning match with a BF-109 and he must be super slow because I'm not, I'm, I'm turning with him. And I break his wing off. So now I got another one behind me and I think it's a Yak. Yep, he's still behind me. Can I have my my flaps on? And I'm not disengaging them, which isn't really helping me out any. And I killed a Corsair, and I still have the Yak. The Yak was around, somewhere around. Okay, the Yak died. So now I have four kills. Yeah, when I killed that Corsair, <laughs> it was point blank. That uh, 45 millimeter round hit him just right in the face. turn this way because I thought I saw him turning right before he left my view and I, I think I did that a couple of times in this match it helps out a lot kind of paying attention instead of kind of using the C button when you're trying to watch what's in front of you so uh, let's kill number five looking up to make sure I don't get bounced and I'm lower than I want to be but it's really too late to worry about that now so I'm pretty bold because I'm surrounded by teammates Normally I don't fly like this. I fly pretty conservative. Um, I, I find that when I when I fly really aggressive, I tend to have the best matches. Um, but it's it's you know matches like this are more tense than I want them to be. It's fun to kind of try and plan you know things out. Um, but there's also something to be said for flying uh, the seat of pants. So, you know, I get a, an, a, a thrill boost when I uh, kind of fly a seat of pants. 
It doesn't always work out like this this uh this replay though. A lot of times when I fly that like this I get maybe two kills and maybe three or four deaths. Or two kills and maybe two deaths or or even two kills and no deaths, but you know those matches usually end up being pretty boring because I'm too conservative. Okay, I'm gonna get this kill here. He's a sitting duck. And you can see I'm kind of metering out those uh, 45 millimeter shells. I still got my flaps. That's a recurring theme in this uh, in this video. For some reason, I normally don't have that problem. Okay, they're up now. I normally don't have that problem. But for some reason, it was pretty bad. Okay, I pinged this guy pretty good. And I, uh... Hurt his wing. And I think I'm gonna get that kill later on. So I'm at, uh... Kill five still. Yeah. But all of a sudden my kill count is going to jump up really soon, and I'm, I'm wondering uh, what happened. It was probably because I damaged him and he was trying to run away and he either bailed or he. You know, it just lost control and died or something. Okay, now I'm, I think I'm in a Yak 1. Either a Yak 1 or a Yak 7. I think it's a 1. So I sent him to the flames. I actually get that kill. So on that kill, I can't see what the screen says, I think it's still 5. It can't be 5, I just got the kill. Ah, it's 8. So I got those two kills, and then I got the guy whose wing I broke off. That's 3, so that's okay, there you go. So I got that kill, so... Got someone else on my tail here. I think all my teammates they might no there he is. So this A20 just pulls away from me. I just give up. And he gets blown up. So I got four kills in like less than 20 seconds. So now I'm at 9. Turning really good here. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have followed him. But they're all gone now. And I'm thinking on trying to get him. And I actually turn on my smoke. I figured I'm already smoking. I'll just turn on my... I give it some extra smoke here. So I'm laying this skunk-like trail across the, uh, the sky here. And so I'm obviously uh, burning oil. But surprisingly, my engine's not damaged. But if I fly like this wrist in a match without dying, my engine will eventually burn out. But it did not hinder me whatsoever other than everyone being able to spot me from across the map. So, <laughs> I get this uh, this P-38 kill. And here's the thing, I always, whenever I see someone tagged as flying a P-38, it's, a, it's like a magnet to me. Because, um... I mean, as cool as those planes are, and as you know, as good of a history as they have in War Thunder, um, they're they're not really good unless you're booming them to hell. You 
can see me, I'm not even hitting the indicator mark, and I'm just beating this guy up at this point. And I actually get the kill before he hits the ground in the match. Uh, replays are kind of <clears throat> the timing on these, and the, I guess, you know, sometimes you see it in the aim indicators. <clears throat> They're not quite precise. So here's my nemesis. I'm chasing him, and I don't, um, I don't think he's aware. I'm trying to, yeah, I don't think he's aware. I'm sneaking up on him, and I lose him, and I jump on someone else. And this guy's all over. This guy, look how close that was. I use flaps to get behind him. There you go. You can see the nose kind of adjust real quick. That's how I like to use the flaps. Here's my nemesis again. I don't think I'm firing yet. Oh, yes, I am. You can see my dirt trail right there, and he peels off, and he's juking really good little movements and it's spoiling my aim but yet I'm still firing I should have left it alone I should have waited until I got closer so what I end up doing is I end up wasting my 20 millimeter rounds and I'm peppering him with the smaller calibers you can see a spark there and then my 20 millimeters come back online you can see me zoom in real quick and he's really out of range you can see me nail him real quick. Right there. Didn't cause any damage, but it sparked the hell out of him. Didn't cause any critical damage. So I got someone behind me, and I'm going to end up firing, uh, flying uh, two, fighting two guys. Kind of low there. And here's my nemesis. He pinged me a little bit didn't get a critical hit and I'm gonna kill him he lines up perfectly I got him and he's gonna pull the same move as he did as I did earlier so I'm fighting this uh, we're doing this like perverted scissors here I'm fighting a BF 109 and and I'm, I'm anticipating I'm looking at the corner of the screen and I'm seeing how he's turning and I'm, I'm matching him because without using the, the C button uh, I'm kinda proud of that moment and I'm, and I'm kinda he's uh he doesn't lose me at all and I almost get the kill and my nemesis comes I'm trying to remember if I actually get the kill or not I don't think I do nope there's my nemesis. He blinds me pretty damn hard. So he gets he gets the last kill there. But the logs show that I kill him three times to him killing me too. He killed me at the beginning of our of the match for me and he kills me at the end. He doesn't, you know, I mean it kind of sets the tone but at the same time I killed him more than he killed me as well the kill death ratio he died five times he got 13 he got 13 kills um, he died five times during the match I died three times during the match I got 12 kills so my kill death ratio is a lot better would have been nice if I would have got this last kill but we unfortunately we ran out of time And this was a perfect setup too because I do, do believe he was super slow. If I would have aimed lower, I would have got it. But I was the top flyer, the top pilot of my team. Um, my nemesis outscored me by a good bit. This is a fun match.
They got 33,000 uh, silver lions. 